I'm so happy you're here. I heard you wanted some help with your makeup tonight for the big show. It's so exciting. I would be honored to do your makeup. And congratulations. I think opening night is going to go off without a hitch. So don't worry. You are in good hands. As a performer myself, I understand the nerves, so just make yourself comfortable. And we're going to put you in the right frame of mind for tonight. Okay, so the first thing I just would like to give you actually is this lavender essential oil. I know it really helps me with the nerves. Lavender is super calming. So, if you just want to, so good, just take a whiff of this. Just breathe in deeply. Yes, you can just already probably feel like it's beginning to relax you. And I always know when I get my makeup done that it relaxes me. So, Probably a good state to be in before the performance. Um, now, let's see, I have just some argon oil that I would just like to put around some parts of your face. I find that if I put it on before my makeup, the makeup comes off easier and all in all, it's just a good hydration. So, let me just go ahead and put just a little drop, a few drops on my fingers. Is that all right? Okay. There we go. I'm just gonna dab it outsides of your eyes, maybe along the top of your lip, just the jawline. Okay. Okay. So now, let us. Oh, actually, before I dive in with the makeup, I just want to get the these loose strands of hair out of your eyes. So. I have some bobby pins. Oh, bobby pin pins to me are the sign, the ultimate sign of the theater, right? I remember from doing dance concerts when I was young and having to pull everything back in a tight bun, which actually I still like to wear. I think it's a super theatrical look. So I, I embrace the theater. So, here. Um, look. These ones are interesting because they are flat. Um, so they really uh, kind of streamline. Some of them are are ribbed. Those definitely uh, adhere to the hair pretty well, so let's give these a try though. Got a couple. A couple there. Okay, so let's see. Here I go with just gonna put your back and then we're just gonna do the other side. Okay. There. Perfect. Now we're ready to put on a little foundation. Let me see what shade I... Okay, let's go with this one. Um, this foundation is actually 100% pure. Funnily enough, that is the brand. And, uh, I like it because it is exactly what it's called. All the ingredients 
are pure and non-toxic. So let's go ahead and load it up with a, just a light layer. So here we go. Okay. Yeah, I just want to make it just all kind of a nice also the 100% pure brand because we watch what we put into our skin and then happier in life. Um, okay, so let's see. I would like to use on you probably just for the crease this color which is, let's see, it's called Risqué. That might bring the drama for this evening. So, um, here's this. Oh, you can see some floating particles. We got uh, the eyeshadow brush here. Okay. All right, now please close your eyes. Okay. Just going over your lid, just wiping and swiping and swiping the lid, covering all the surface area. Okay? Okay, you can open now again. And why don't we, while we're here, go in with uh, the, let's see, it's called Provocateur. Provocateur is the shade that I'm going to use for the crease. Okay. So... Close again and just go into the crease on the other side. Okay. Open. Great. Yes. So it looks really dramatic because it starts to give you the dimension. Funny, when I first started learning stage makeup, well, it wasn't even stage makeup, I found my mother's Mary Kay makeup booklet in her, her drawer. And it showed me how to do the different layers of the colors and getting darker. And then I just used that approach for doing my makeup for dance concerts or plays. So that's what I'm doing on you now. And now we're in the position to put on the eyeliner. Now I really think that eyeliner is the most dramatic effect. Now, I was actually once told by a theater professor that the most dramatic element on the face that reads from the stage is the eyebrows. And I did not believe him. I still don't know if I believe him, but uh, I guess I'll take a look on stage tonight and let you know what I think. So, this is another brand that is also not toxic, it's pure. And, uh, I'm just going to close your eyes again. Go in and, and the other side. Would you like a little flip like I have? Okay, here we go. Just give you a little flare. And a little side flare on the other side. Okay, yes. You're going to steal the show tonight. Wow, okay. Now let's uh, go in with the... Um, actually, before I do, I see from your eyeliner just a teensy bit down out of place. So I'm just going to clean it up with some Q-tips. 
actually know that to still a little wet. I can get it quick. Okay, here, I'm just gonna get this outside. Yes, okay, there you go. Throw that away. And now we are ready for mascara. Again, this is another great non-toxic brand, Mineral Fusion. Okay, so let us, this is can be a little difficult to do with the people. So it's easier when it's, um, you know, fully wet like this. So just kind of half close your eyes, okay? Okay, here we go. Yes. Yes. Switch my hand, okay? The other side. Mm-hmm. Mm, okay. Actually, just let it dry just a few seconds because I'll just add another coat. Yes, you could do the, like, Butterfly kiss, or what, what have you, um, to just help it to dry. Okay, that should be good. Get you another fresh layer. Okay, half closed like this. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, that adds a nice second layer. And the second one. Mmm, they haven't made all the difference. It's almost like they grew half an inch. Okay, and now, if you don't mind, let's go for that professor's theory that the eyebrows are the most dramatic. They read the strongest from the stage. So I'm just gonna clean yours up just a little bit. Don't mind. It's it just be like a ding, 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 ding. It's uh, I promise it won't hurt. It will just maybe give us that. Ah. Okay, now I think let's add those rosy cheeks. Just uh, a little bit of blush. Um, I do have this option. It's quite like a baby pink color. not the one I'm wearing. Um, and also, it's not one of those non-toxic brands. So, let me just show you the one that I'll probably use. Because also, I don't know that you want a, a baby pink. So, here we have this one called Allure. Who doesn't want to be alluring up on stage? Alluring. Who doesn't want to be alluring? So let's make you alluring because this is also the non toxic brand, which seems to be our theme. But health is wealth, right? Okay, just this is a blush brush. Eyebrows. Okay. 
Let's see here, I have this cute little brush, just a little baby brush. That's just a little one. Okay. Let's see. Alright, just I'm okay, gonna not do that too much because I just want to go here. Go just dab it on the center of the brow. Just Give it that little extra. Mm. Okay. And see when you're looking dynamic. Okay, so why don't we finish you up with the lips? So I have um this lip liner. It's uh it's a pretty neutral color. I, I should ask you first though, um, would you prefer a lipstick color that is a little more, more dramatic than neutral? Let's see. This one, surprise, surprise, oh, it's purple. And this one smells so good. It smells like cupcake. You want to smell it? Mm -hmm. Well, I have to tell you, it is actually not one of those non-toxic brands. So, you want to... No, yeah, I didn't think purple was probably right for your character tonight. So, I'll show you back to this non-toxic brand I have again. This again is 100% pure brand and also its qualifications. And the color, I'll just show you, it is called Pink Canyon Rose Canyon. I'm not sure if that is the name or why it has two names like that. Is it Pink Canyon or is it Rose Canyon? I don't know, but let's You just wanna do a pout, just like pout your lip like this. Here you go. I'm just gonna. Okay. Okay. Now I'm just blot them together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that that reads well because we're really letting the eyes be the focus. Okay, so um, I'm thinking that you are good to go. Um, if you would like, I could just give you uh, a calming spritz again, uh, this time a different scent. This is rose water, rose petals. Also, it might, it might help uh, Paint you in a cloud of a smelling like a bouquet, which foreshadows perhaps the bouquet you get tonight while you're bowing and someone would, would throw rose petals at you or, or hand you a full bouquet. Or it's nice for when you're in a scene with someone and, and they're taken by your intoxicating mind, I could just spritz your aura with it. Okay. Here we go. I'm just going to do a general... Yes. Mm. I've gotten some too. Okay. It's wafting, wafting around you, enveloping you, giving you the confidence that you can carry with you tonight to have a great show, a fantastic opening night. You look striking and fabulous, and I can't wait to see you out there. I'm going to be there. So, I guess the last thing to do is to wish you a 